So this chart is on the very back wall in the dark room and it kind of goes over the filtration system and how to set your different filters for different levels of contrast. So again, the paper grade is referring to the level of contrast. Um, two, again, is equal to no filter at all. And again, typically we're increasing the amount of contrast. So you can either on the Omega uh, enlargers, you can insert a number three filter to have uh, added contrast going to that medium level. On the Bessler enlargers, you can set your magenta filter to 40. Uh, so those are pretty equal. On the, if you wanna go a little bit higher, you can go to a level four and putting in a number four or setting the magenta filter to 70. Or if you need to go to the highest level, number five, you can insert a number five in the Omega or set the Bessler uh, magenta filter to 170. And that will increase your contrast. Again, the M stands for magenta, which is pretty much the pink dial on the Bessler enlargers. And the Y, if you ever do need to decrease the amount of contrast, uh, the Y is the yellow filter on the Bessler enlarger. Uh, the blue filter on the Bessler Enlarger doesn't really do anything. Again, the filters are really for the uh, color um, system, but we use those filters, the magenta and the, and the yellow, to either decrease or increase the contrast. Now, on the Bessler uh, Enlargers, you can even go in between some of those settings as well. So maybe you want to get something in between the 40 and 70 and set it to you know 50 or 60. The dial actually goes up to 200, so you could even set that as high as 200 on the magenta. So those are just some basic guidelines for setting it. Um, on the Omega, you don't really have any in between. You're setting a three, four, or you're putting a three, four, or five filter into the little tray, and I'll show you how to set those when we go to get set up to do the actual enlargements on those two enlargers.